Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with the Dog. こんにちは。今日は林ライスです。ルーから作りますが、作り方は意外と簡単でとても美味しいです。Let's make the roux. Drop the butter in the pan over low heat. Let the butter melt in the pan. Add the sieved flour to the melted butter. Stir fry the flour thoroughly with a wooden paddle. Stir continuously for more than 10 minutes to brown the mixture. Be careful not to burn the mixture. When it becomes brown as shown, turn off the burner and place the pan on a trivet. Dilute the mixture by adding one third of the bouillon broth. Continue mixing vigorously. Gather and place the roux on a plate. Let's cut the vegetables. Cut the onion in half. Remove the basal plate, the part of the root attached to the onion. Make a shallow cut vertically along the outer layers. This will help cut the onion into even pieces. Slice the onion across the shallow cut, making half inch slices. Cut the carrot vertically into four slices. Stack the slices on top of each other and chop them into fine strips. Slice the bottom mushrooms into thin slices. Let's make the Hayashi sauce similar to a thick demi glace sauce. Lightly sprinkle the beef slices with the salt and the pepper. Add the vegetable oil to the heated pan and swirl to coat it with the oil. With a pair of tongs, spread the beef slices on the pan with the seasoned side facing down. Sprinkle the pepper and the salt on the other side of the beef. Let the beef cook on high heat without stirring until brown and then turn them over. When both sides become brown, place the beef on a plate. And turn off the burner. Tilt the pan toward you and remove the excess oil with a paper towel. Add the butter and olive oil to the pan and turn the heat to medium. Swirl the pan and let the butter melt. Put the chopped onion and carrot in the pan at once. As with the beef, don't over stir while browning the vegetables. Cooking thoroughly at this stage increases the flavor of the vegetables and shortens the cooking time. Add the chopped garlic clove and stir lightly. When the aroma grows stronger, add the sliced butter mushrooms and mix. When the mushrooms begin to wilt, Add the tomato ketchup and toss to coat. When the vegetables are well coated, place the beef slices back into the pan and distribute evenly among the vegetables. Add the red wine to the beef and vegetables and reduce the liquid on medium heat. When the alcohol has evaporated completely, Add the rest of the bouillon broth. Canned diced tomatoes, honey, and bay leaf to the sauce. Turn the burner on high and lightly stir with a ladle. Skim off the foam with a mesh strainer. 
reduce the heat. Cover with a lid and simmer on low heat for 5 to 6 minutes. Remove the lid. Drop in the roux and dissolve it in the sauce with a ladle. Add the green peas, salt, and Japanese Worcestershire sauce to the mixture. While occasionally stirring with the ladle, reduce the sauce on low heat until thickened as shown. Test the flavor of the sauce and add salt and pepper to taste. Add the soy sauce, lightly stir, and the Hayashi sauce is ready to serve. Let's serve the Hayashi rice. Open the rice cooker and add the butter to the fresh steamed rice. Lightly stir with a rice paddle. When combined, stuff the rice into a cup. Serve the rice on a plate. Ladle the Hayashi sauce and the beef and the vegetables beside the rice. Sprinkle on the chopped parsley. Finally, pour a dash of whipping cream onto the Hayashi sauce. Except for carefully making the roux, this is a simple recipe requiring only to combine the ingredients in order. This homemade sauce is smooth and delicious, and there is no need to purchase packaged demi glace. When you make the roux, it becomes very hot, so we recommend using a wooden paddle to mix it. Good luck in the kitchen!